Good morning, sausage. Hey up. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. It's uh, it's a little bit colder today than uh, the last few. It's a bit of a drop off from the the pleasant sunshine we had the other day on that ride. Well, this is exactly why I've put you to work doing some scrubbing. Uh, what are you doing there, sir? Uh, I am pleasuring the bike with some uh, lubrication and a bit of uh, old cloth. Um, specifically, though, uh, the mating surface for the uh, manifold that was repaired the other day um, needs to sit on this section of the engine, and there's all sorts of old gubbins in the way that's uh, going to ruin that seal. So, bit of scrub scrub, get it clean and fresh. So what's the plan today? Well, we are going to try and get the bike running. Um, I have had some parts arrive, namely air filter foam and a new ignition switch with a key, hopefully. Um, as you remember, we have had the inlet manifold repaired and the carburetor is now clean and ready to go back on. So we're just going to stick everything back together, see if we get the old girl running. So you might remember that the air filter had no filter in it. It was just a plastic box of nothingness. So we've got some air filter foam. Kieran is drawing around the uh, mesh gauzy thing as a template. And we're gonna get some filter material in there. Okay, I've got my festive beard starter pack. Um, what we're gonna do is bang some oil on that. Well, oil in this bag, throw the filter in and give it a good smush around and then throw it back in the filter. Well there we are, that's the air filter element nicely oiled, it's got a light coating of oil, it's not dripping in any way, uh, it's just enough to help catch any particles that go into the air filter. So we're going to put that back together and move on. We are now going to attempt to replace this carburetor, manifold and air box onto the bike. We're not going to show you everything out how we do that because it's fairly self-evident, it's just the reversal of how you took it off if you were so inclined to do that and so we'll come back to you in a bit. Inserting carburetor. In she goes. We have discovered a small issue and that is that the thread for the manifold bolt is a little bit gnarly because I think based on the fact that the gasket was absolutely battered when we took it off, I think somebody's tried to cover up or fix I say fix in the loosest possible sense of the word fix um, a vacuum leak by over tightening the manifold because the bottom of the manifold wasn't flat so it wouldn't have been sealing against the engine very well so we're just attempting to very carefully fix this mm, we shall see how we get on So we've got the carb back on and we're just putting the old cables on for now. They will be being replaced at some point, but we'll cope with these as it is. And we need to jerry-rig the ignition and or fit the new ignition. Not sure which way to go yet. And put some oil in and then we'll see if we can start it. So let's move on. Next stage, obviously, we need to get some power to the bike in some fashion. And uh, obviously, the key is not the key for the bike, we have discovered. So we're looking at swapping that out with the new one that got delivered today. And to do that, uh, we're taking some of this fairing business off by these bolts. Hopefully, it's just those two. But we are discovering as we go along. Um, and we can see if we maybe pop the lid. Oh. There's a badger! Here she is, look, as ever. You brought us a tool. What you brought me? Can I use that stick on here? Not likely. No, I don't think so, do you? <laughs> so we've just been having a look at the ignition switch, which if you remember, had, we suspect the wrong key, or it might just be broken. But either way, it's not working, and we bought a replacement. 
the replacement came with different connectors on it. It came with this uh, straight, up and down. straight up and down three pin rather than the square one that was on the bike. So we've just had to remove that and switch it over to the other one. But we think we've got it plugged in now. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn the ignition on and see if we've got a spark. So we've got the ignition on and we're going to crank over the kickstarter and see if we get a spark. So let's let's have a look. Ooh. We're seeing something. A little, little flash of hope. Yeah, I'd say that's a spark. So which of the fleet has offered itself as sacrifice for the cause? Well, it's the good old CG125. I mean, if ever a bike was built to sacrifice itself for the cause, it's this one. What we got going on then? I am sucking out some fuel. Right, well everything's back together. We're at an exciting point. We're gonna try and start it. We've got a spark. Uh, we've got the carburetor back on, the air filter back on. We've got oil in the engine. We um, seem to have compression. We seem to have compression. We're just using the little siphony uh, syringe just to feed some fuel in. And all that remains to do is try it. Like, I'm not entirely hopeful. I am hopeful. Okay, I correct that. I am hopeful. Stupid. But I'm not entirely expecting this to work first time. But let's give it a go. Second kick, first attempt. I think that is what you call running. Woo! <laughs> so the question now is, why is it revving its bag off? Uh. Um, obviously we've sort of rebuilt this carburetor so we don't know what the settings were before, if they were correct or not. We just put it back how it was. Um, there could also be an air leak. We're not entirely sure yet. So we're going to investigate the high revving situation. <laughs> Otherwise, though, good news, it does run. Bonus! Well, it's that time again. It's time to go to work. Earn the pennies. Unfortunately, she is still revving her nuts off, and we're not sure why. It's one of those things, isn't it? Like, um, there are so, so many things that could cause that to happen. Twist there, thing there, missing bit there. Ugh. It's a little bit like voodoo, isn't it? You've got to... Uh, be very systematic about what you're doing. So we'll have to do that another day because obviously we have to go to work. So for now, we shall say ta-da. Goodbye. And see you next time.